is Brian Nealon with Late Model Engines. Want to talk a little bit about our finest cylinder head offering for the LT1, LT4 platform, and now the LT2. The Edelbrock casting that we machine from the raw casting to the finished product. This is an American cast cylinder head, American machined and assembled. This is a premium setup for guys that are looking to get the most out of your boosted or naturally aspirated application. A couple of the differences between this cylinder head and a conventional LT1, LT4, or LT2 cylinder head is the exhaust port. The exhaust ports on this cylinder head are straight in line, or they're moved roughly an inch and a half from the, from the LT4 configuration. So it doesn't have that dog leg in the exhaust port like the standard LT cylinder heads. That's going to result in this straight exhaust results in a much more efficient exhaust port. It's more to the liking of a normal LS cylinder head. So this does require a, a different uh, header for most applications. Your major manufacturers make options for this for the Corvette, Camaro, even the trucks. So the exhaust port's moved an inch and a half. It does take the same flange. If you had an application where header fitment was totally wide open, the standard header would hit would fit just fine. So the port's moved, but it does have the same uh, bore spacing, all of that, so the flange is the same. The flow on this cylinder head is pretty off the charts. I mean, it's flowing over 400 CFM on the intake and 310 roughly on the exhaust. It has a 2180 intake valve and a 1630 exhaust. So the factory LT valves are 2125, 1600, and we went to a 2180, 1630. This cylinder head is configurable in many different ways. It can be run with DI, of course, which all, all the LTs are based on DI. And then in this particular application, we were running a non-DI head. So this combustion chamber is configured with no DI port. So the injector would only be used in, into the intake manifold port injection. We have a couple different chamber configurations for different applications, different volumes. This chamber here is also softened. A lot of the uh, supercharged guys and nitrous guys will be softening the chambers. We've found that the 2180 intake valve is optimal for, for this cylinder head. We've played with uh, larger valves, smaller valves, and really ended up on the 2180. So we have this available in a Victory titanium intake valve as well as a hollow stem intake valve and uh, stainless or Inconel on the exhaust. Valve springs can be set up with all your standard hydraulic roller and small diameter uh, low lash and solid roller springs. Rocker arms can be configured with the factory rocker arm and any of the aftermarket bolt-ons. And then we have for the racer, we have a shaft mount Manton system that's really nice. Runs a staggered 3 8 pattern uh, to increase the, the footprint and clamp load on that rocker stand and it's a steel, steel rocker intake and exhaust. So that's gonna be used in something where you're gonna be sustained RPM, um, you know, real high boost applications where the exhaust valve is really under a lot of stress and that's for your, your ultimate race setup. The factory rocker, we included some strengthening gussets to tie in both the intake and exhaust rocker on each cylinder. So since we had the, uh, the ability to do that from the, from the machining process, We've raised up the spring pockets from the factory cylinder head to get a better angle to the, uh, of the intake port to the back of the valve, just improving airflow or, or the ability to make a more efficient intake port. So everything's raised up. It, doesn't, it takes a little bit longer valve than the factory valve um, uh, due to that raising of the spring pocket. All of your uh, other factory accessories bolt onto it. And really it's a, it's a bolt on cylinder head except for the header design. Once you get past that, if you're looking for ultimate performance, this is the cylinder head to use.